As you're heading east on the 91 freeway and you're heading into the Inland Empire, one of the last high schools you'll pass is Canyon High School off Imperial Highway. Really one of the prettier campuses in Orange County set among rolling hills and big beautiful trees. And we're here to take a look at the girls basketball team here at Canyon High School as it continues on its road in the CIF Southern Section playoffs. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com. I'm Steve Fryer here with Carlos Arias to take a look at what's going on this week in girls basketball. We're in the playoffs, deep into them, too. We're here at Canyon High School, and the Canyon girls are having a shoot-around, getting ready for a big game tonight. Carlos, Canyon's one of the teams from the Century League. Only, what, one or two have made, the, made the, this far in the playoffs or more? Three. Three Century League teams are in the playoffs, in the quarterfinals, with a great chance of winning tonight and going on. I mean, we're, we're talking about Canyon here, a team that has a group of girls, uh, uh, Shanice Jackson, Christine Salvatore, they've been, Allie Anderson, they've been together since they were freshmen starting, and now it's their third year together, and look where they are. They're in the quarterfinals with a shot at, at going uh, even deeper. While we're here at Canyon High School, OCVarsity.com's Carlos Arias has talked to some of the Canyon players about the playoffs, the team, and what's coming up, and the challenges that await Canyon in these basketball playoffs. Carlos? All right, we're here with Shanice Jackson from Canyon, and uh, wow, you guys are in the quarterfinals. Um, give me your thoughts on what's been going on and how you got this far. Um, well, team like team support is really good. It was really important, and uh, you know, being uh, so close. You know, at first we were you know very separate, and then uh, you know we had our ups and downs, and we all came together, and that's really what like was really important. And you know, we do a certain routine before every game. And uh, that's really important because we think it's, you know, kind of like a voodoo thing. You do it wrong and then uh, we're going to have a mess up game. But we just like try to keep it consistent, practice consistent, you know, practicing hard and stuff. And that's what uh, keeps us, I think, going. And that's what keeps us, you know, in these playoffs. We don't have too much concern because we know we played the best teams around. And I know leagues are like an inland aren't as good as we play. So it just gives us a little bit more confidence when we go into playoffs knowing that we've played better teams. So no chumps at all, right? Nah, none. At this point, I know it's premature and stuff, but I, I, I believe we can win. I believe that we are capable of winning. I believe that if we do the things that we are capable of, um, we defend the way we can, we rebound the way that we can, we take care of the ball, run offense, I believe that we can win, and I believe that we should win. And that's kind of the expectation that we've set for ourselves. And Century League is not the only county league that's got three teams in this, uh, this far in the playoffs, right? Yeah, I mean, another amazing league, the Trinity League. You got a team like Jay Sarah goes winless in league. Yeah. And now they're in the quarterfinals, and not only in the quarterfinals, they're favored to beat San Ynez tonight. They might be one of the you know favorites to win the division. That went winless in Trinity League. That's how tough that league is. And Rosary's still hanging in there too, right? They got a tough one though. Yeah, they do. Rosary's playing uh, your Belinda, first year varsity program. And your Belinda, uh, let me tell you, these, these kids are not a regular first year program. They got former Esperanza coach Mark Hill over there. Yeah. They got uh, Alexis Atchley, uh, the younger sister of Sky Atchley, who used to play at Orange Lutheran a couple years ago, helped them make that great run. So uh, that's a really good Orange Lutheran team. And or, I'm sorry, your Belinda team right. that's going to be playing Rosary, which, which uh, Rich Yoon, man, he finds a way to get the Royals ready for the postseason every year. So it's pretty amazing there. You know, the your Belinda coach, Mark Hill, little trivia question for you. Who was his dad? You remember that one? Mark Hill. King of the Hill? Dick Hill. Dick Hill, who was the uh, county uh, leader, yeah, 191 uh, victories when he retired, and and uh, Mark Hill's dad, Dick Hill, coached at Santa Ana, Santa Ana Valley, uh, uh, Orange, I think too. Uh, he was the all-time leader, but that's uh, that's coach that's coach uh, coach Hill's dad. That's why Mark Hill's teams tackle so well. I didn't know that. <laughs> exactly. So, so that's what's going on in girls basketball this week. And uh, hey, everybody, if teams make the semifinals, they're automatically qualified for state too. So there's a lot more basketball going on here at OCVarsity.com, where we've got you covered.